Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play New Horizons. Uh, last time we defeated the entire Spanish army, and uh, now we've got Andreas on our team. We're about to sell our ships, but looks like we're going to advance the story a little bit. Okay. An interesting rumor. Well, those are always fun. Commander Ezreal, that's about our enemy. The Duke disowned his son, Zhao. Joao. I'm going to say Zhao. If that's wrong, viewers, let me know. But why would he disown his son? We're in luck. Yes, we can't approach him in Lisbon, which happens to be the town we're in, but if he's on the sea, we'll have plenty of opportunities for attack. Andres. Oh, uh, yes, Commodore? Ah, that's right. Andres, you better get out of the way. Only Catalina will have revenge on the Francos. All right, so we're going to sell a ship here. Let's sell the ship A. I think that would be a good ship to sell. Let's do this real quick. Ooh, 30,000 gold pieces. Excellent. That's a lot of money. Yes, it's fine. Cool. We only have a flagship. Good, and that's all. That's all that we need. Excellent. Okay, we're gonna go up to the cafe here. It's always good to go up to the cafe, see what's going on. Anytime she's about to do the slow walk, you know the story's gonna advance. So let's see. Seen a sailor named Zhao. No, we haven't. Now this is interesting because that happens to be a woman, Carolotta, that's running, and Andres is just attacking a poor, defenseless woman. And that's really kind of sad. So, um, anyways, we're going to go over here. We can meet some of these guys. Rafael Selran, there's that Portuguese guy. And if we gossip, we can cry where some people here. Now, there's a navigator called Kevin. You may recognize that name. That's actually one of the Turkish men that we defeated earlier. However, if we go, uh, we can't quite hire him just yet because his levels are higher than ours. And so, um, we can't beat him just yet. Reyes, we can't hire anyway. So, anyways, there's some guys there. All right. But we definitely do need some mates to hire, so I'm going to go show you where the best place to do that, or one of the best places to do that is. So we're going to set sail, and we're going to start heading north. 13 minutes. Perfect. While we're up there, we're also going to start looking for the ships called La Reales. They're a little bit better than the galleon. They can hold as much crew, and they move faster because they move on rows and not sails. See, galleon only moves on sails. So anyways, we're going north, we're going north. Do, 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 do. First place we're going to stop is a place called Bristol, which is, of course, in England. Right there, I'm not sure where that is. It's up here. Forty gold pieces is new. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to show them up here. Double me while I go there. We'll go over here. Found a village. Oh, sweet. We'll do that with that later. Okay, we're gonna stop in Bristol. Okay, allied with England. Excellent. Okay. You always find new mates in the cafes. So we're gonna start by heading over to the cafe. Let's see if we can find a guy here. And we're also, we're going to perhaps inquire about Jow. We still haven't found that Jow kid. There'll be no rest for me until we do. That's right. We're going to take him out. And over here we can meet Anthony Morgan. That's who we're looking for. Now, in order to hire new mates, he's a vagabond sailor, so that's good. All right. Seamanship. Okay. Now, this is important because really, in any mate that you're trying to hire, as far as numbers go, this is the only stat that matters because um, 30 gold pieces a month now is too high. Um, you, and you'll, you can also negotiate, but no, he'll go down to 10. Just give me a second here. But anyways, seamanship is the only one that matters. There we go. 10 gold pieces a month. Perfect. Um, because that's how fast a guy can navigate a ship. So that's really important. So anyways, we're also going to appoint him to something, make him feel important. So we change job duty here. Now, if you go to first mate, these are the guys that can be our first mate. We'll pick Emilio, why not? And for chief navigator, we're going to pick Anthony Morgan, because he can't really do anything else. So we're going to do that. And we're also going to start looking for La Real ships. Now, this next part of the story is annoying, because every time they go into a building, they are talking about Jow. So brings us to the shipyard. We're going to look for you ships. See if we can find the L'Oreal. Nope, not yet. Okay, no problem. All right. Next place we're going to go is we're going to go. Go past this stupid thing one more time. Sorry, everybody. We have to go through this. Blah blah blah. blah. Okay. We're going to go check in London and see if there's any guys there. It's fine. I know there's one there that I want to hire for sure, but there may be a second, depending on where he is. So anyways, we're going to show him over here. Let's see. Okay. Oops, let's see who that is. Oh, we're gonna take this. Oh, we'll stop and take this guy real quick. 
Why? Because we need fame and piracy, and he just happens to be right there. So I'm gonna take this guy out real fast. And I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. We took care of that. No problem. Increase the fame and piracy, increase our battle level. Kind of squeeze this part and go up here to this bit here. Just to see, uh, legend. Excellent. And the navigation level went up. Outstanding. Okay. Now we're here in London. Okay. Now, unfortunately, we can't go to the shipyard just yet, but we're going to check the cafe out for more guys and see if we can find Jal. An interesting piece of information. The Prince of Portugal is missing right now. Ooh. Duke Franco plotted to eliminate the prince so his son Jal could take the throne. Man, what a jerk. Wow, he's worse than a pirate. Man, no kidding. Wow, that's just harsh. That's unbelievable. No, we gotta figure out what the deal is with that. Ah, here's a guy that we want to hire, Antoine Fitch. This is another excellent, excellent guy to hire. Mac for leadership. He's got uh, a couple of great stats, and I'll show you those. And he's only 10 gold pieces. Awesome. Now, we can't hire this guy yet, because he is uh, he sails the merchant fleet from England, but we're going to gossip for a little bit and see if there's any more guys we want to hire. And he kind of sucks. Uh, let's see. Now we don't hire me. Okay, there's never really else we can hire in this area. So, we'll do that. Okay. Now, there's another guy I want to hire here in the inn. Lawrence Edwards is his name. We're going to hire him. Two pieces a month, fine. Okay, now let me show you a couple of things about these, about these guys and what makes them so good. Um, if you go to Lawrence Edwards... He has really high seamanship, so he's really good for um, for navigating. And Antoine Fitch is good because he has, even though he has relatively low seamanship, he's only at level two, and that's gradually going to grow. Um, but he has celestial navigation, the little compass thing, and he also has that little scales thing, which is bookkeeping, which means he'll be able to negotiate prices at markets for us. And that's not really important right now, but it will be once we boost our fleet. Oops. I am going to go overnight here. And check in. We get our eight o'clock. It's fine. And go through the nighttime music. La da 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 da. All right. We're gonna sell some of these ships, and we're gonna continue to look for those La Reals. Go to the shipyard. Fortunately, we don't have to deal with that silly little text again. So I think that got that got triggered once we uh, defeated another battle. Yes, yes, it's fine. 30,000 gold. Good. See, so you're just starting to rack up the money here. And the more mates that you hire, um, that's only 20,000, that's only a Carrick ship. Uh, the more mates that you hire, the more ships that you can take. And then the more um, money you can make at one time. So that's good. Okay, let's see if we can find a low rail ship. Nope, not yet. So we're going to keep looking until we can find those. Or a Venetian Galas. If we can find one of those, we're going to get one of those as well. But anyways... I'm probably running short on time, so I'm going to go ahead and stop right here um, and go ahead and upload this video, and then I'm going to look for more mates and get some more weapons and hopefully advance the story more next time. But until then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care, y'all.